Hey everybody, this is Blaze1216J and welcome to Let's Play Shovel Knight. And I have to say that this game is super fun. I definitely recommend it for anyone who is a fan of uh, side-scrolling platform action art. <laughs> and like, oh my god, it's just, it's really good. It's a really fun game. I recommend it to anyone. Oh hey, my friend's online. Anyway, with that being said, let's start a, a game. And I'm going to give you a heads up. I actually tried to record this, but I had two failed attempts. And uh, this time, I'm not going to make another mistake. So yes, let's just start with my name. Of course, everyone knows it's Blaze. Choose this profile? Yes. Let us begin. <clears throat> Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, an enchantress and her order of no quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms, a new adventure is about to begin. So what do you think of that narration, guys? <laughs> Justice in spades! And yes, we are off! So yes, basic jumping. This is gonna be a handy move, which I'll demonstrate with that enemy right there. But let's just, just shovel some things going. Boing! Yep. That's right, it's pogo stick jump. <sighs> pogo stick jumping! Boing, boing. Yeah, that's how we do it. So yes, let's keep on collecting more monies, and oh, yep, let's just keep on taking out enemies, and more money, indeed, yes, so yeah, basic, uh, very basic, just, uh, you know, hit enemies, and you can even jump on them with the pogo stick animation, and you can even do it on dirt blocks, too, yeah, basically, it's just a really fun game, so yeah, let's just keep going through, boing, boing, so yeah, let's just keep on getting more money. And you see that blue bottle that that enemy dropped? That's going to be very important, uh, probably in the future, once we get through this whole level. Let's just bounce in that bubble. And yes, let's just keep collecting more money. Because money makes the world go round. Let's see. I feel like there's something I may have missed. I don't know if I did, but um, let's find out. Ooh, more money. Alright, let's get let's just keep going. Alright. Oh, look at this. Dragon! You cannot defeat the power of thy shovel. Ooh, more money. Alright, so yeah, basic, you know. We're just basically going through this. Oh, first enemy right there. Well, a true enemy in a way, because those beaters <laughs> don't do nothing, they just walk around. They're like the Goombas of the game. Damn Goombas. But yes, this game does have some pretty cool references, I'll say that much, if, uh... Because, like, you know, like, it doesn't... It does show the pogo stick jump that, uh, I believe DuckTales introduced it the first time. Oh, slimes! A game is not complete without slimes, especially in, a. Uh, let me see. Is it really medi medieval this kind of period? Yeah, I think it is. Boing! Alright. Haha, -ha, you cannot hit me, but I can hit you. Alright, cool. Boing. Ah, poor skeleton heads. Uh, what can you do? Yay, a music note. But music notes, uh, we'll get later into that once, uh, like I said, once we get through this, like, uh, 
beginning level, and then we'll get to see some, you know, uh, get to explain a lot more on some of the game's mechanics here. So yeah, of course, uh, yeah, wow, I did some pretty good jumping here and there. Alright. Ooh, nice. Get able to jump on him. So to get some more money, because yeah, like it's, there's a lot of hidden spots here and there in this game. It's always nice to like, you know, keep an eye on those. Definitely keep an eye on those. Ooh, hey, food. Nice. So yeah, um, very top of the screen. My gold count, an item, which uh, yeah, we have no items at the moment, but once we do, you'll get to see them in action soon. And let's see, the health bar, health bar with the life, and of course on the very right you see the boss. We won't be seeing any bosses anytime soon. Well, not yet, but hey, we'll see. Just you wait. Just you wait. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see this way. Let's go up this side or back up there. I forgot, because I feel like one of them is a secret area. Boing, boing. Let's see. Ah! Oh! Well, hey, I get to show off what happens. So, yeah. When you die in this game, you actually uh, have to uh, basically... You don't actually lose lives in this game. Actually, you uh, lose um, money. And you actually have the opportunity to go and co collect your money back. So, yeah. It's a nice touch for this game to like let you recollect what you lost. And you can keep going multiple times, I believe, in any area. Alright. Let's see if I can pick this up like this. Yeah! Alright. Boing, boing. And yay, another music note. Perfect. Like I said, it's if you see music notes, it's very important to collect them. You understand why. And also, it's part of those, uh, you know, if you want to try completing the game 100% and such, you know. Get to that ladder. Oh, okay, that was short on that jump. Let's see what we unlocked. Ooh, lots of money. Whoa, hey there, skeleton man. Those skeleton, those skeleton soldiers. Let me tell you. Ooh, hey, even more. Uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of hidden stuff in this game. You never know what you'll expect, what you'll see. And look, more money. Wow, we're getting a good amount of gold right now. If I say so myself. Oh, wait, I want to kill that. I want to kill the dragon. There you go. Every little bit of money counts. Alright, let's get to that checkpoint. And yeah, later on in the game, uh, you see how I'm bouncing on this? Uh, I'll explain another thing that check what you can do with checkpoints later on in the game. Alright, let's go break, the, break that dragons. The signs, more dragons, and yeah, more pogo stick jumping. Hmm, I thought there was something there. Whoa, whoa! I. Wow. Died twice on the first level. <sighs> nice. I wish. Oh man. That was, oh, that was a large amount too. It happens. It happens. I can't, you know, it happens. But anyway, let's just keep going. Oh, hey, we got ourselves another dragon. Ah! Boing, 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 boing. Ah, uh, why do they have to drop some of that treasure? Uh, I hate when that happens when, when a boss is right there. I mean, come on, get closer. That's right. <laughs> he died. Lol. Man, I hate those like little tiny platforms, especially in most platformers. I mean, gosh, you get really nervous. You can like mess up any time. I mean, am I the only one here? Who's... I mean, come on. It just kind of makes you nervous when you see tiny platforms. And let me tell you, there's got to be some more annoying things like that in like later levels. And dear God, it's just annoying. So annoying. Alright, any more slimes? Nope. Look at that, more money. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna keep grinding all this place up with all of all its riches. Yarg. Well, wait, we're not pirates, we're knights. Alright, dragon. Thank you for letting me use you. 
Oh, I swear I hate those. I really hate those. Alright, let's just keep collecting more money and make it and tr I wonder. I always want huh, I always thought there was a secret little pad there. Never mind. Or a little well ooh, barely made that. Alright, cool. Made it through. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 ah, come on. Huh, I like that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's always good to check around the whole area. Oh, hey, there you go. Checkpoint. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. And yes, this is our first uh, boss, boss fight with Black Knight. Okay, so far we got some good hits. All right. Let me tell you this though. Um, in my previous playthrough, I actually died about five times against this guy. It was really, 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 oh my gosh. I was just pouncing through him like, oh my god. I'm not, okay, I don't know what just happened. Because the first time I tried this, I just instantly like had such a huge trouble fighting against him. Like right now. Oh, oh, I beat him. First try. Hell yeah! That's right! Woo! Okay, got too excited there. Yes! And he runs away! Ha 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 I have defeated the evil knight. There's that little campfire. As we start to go up through the sky. What's this? It's Shield Knight, and she's falling! Catch her. Shovel Knight, go! Catch her! Okay, that wasn't really catching, but it seems like diving. <laughs> oh, wake up! And if you keep shoveling through these, you actually get some money here. So as always, remember to put out your fires. Because remember, only you can put out forest fires. <laughs> or I think I did it. I think I said it wrong. Oh well. So yeah, we can't go anywhere until we go to the village. So first stop.